Today is a very big day for me, although you know, it feels like every day is a big day for me at the moment. Uh, lots of different things happening, but today's the day I start my treatment. So we get chemo and radiation, both on the same day. Uh, it is just before 6am, so it's been a very early start for us. And we're heading into Doha, which is a bit over 30 minutes to get there. So this is the trip we'll be making every day as I go through this. So you're yeah, feeling a little bit anxious about what's to come. Uh, I don't know how my body's going to react to the chemo and radiation. I don't think there'll be too much pain in the radiation to begin with. I think uh, that kind of kicks in after a week or two from what I've read. Uh, but yeah, I think the chemo is going to make me a little bit sick. Uh, we'll see how that goes. In this video, I'm, I guess I'm going to share just how I go with this first week of treatment. Uh, so I'll, I'll keep this video going for a week and just share yeah, just how I'm feeling after each day or during each day. Yeah, so yeah, I guess yeah, I'm pretty scared about what's going to happen. I don't know uh, if it's going to work. Um, obviously, there's a chance that the treatment won't work, but um, yeah, just trying to stay positive and let's hope it all does what it's supposed to do. In the last video, I shared, I guess, a little update me getting a PEG feeding tube installed, and uh, that's feeling much better today. Still a little bit tender, but the first day I could barely walk or sit up or anything. But it's got better over the last few days, and I have, have been moving around a lot, which has, I think, really helped me. Even though I'm not using it, it's there, it's ready to go if I need it, and I'm feeling okay about it now. Also, I just wanted to just give a quick thank you to everyone for all your support. I did put a post uh, out on Facebook and the YouTube video, and I've just had all the, all the YouTube videos. I've just had so much support since uh, I shared the news that I have cancer on social media. And so I just want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you to all my friends. Uh, thank you to all the people that you know I haven't even met that have taken the time to send me messages of support. Uh, yeah, I do really appreciate it. And also, I feel very lucky and blessed that my sister Daniela. She's come to Qatar to visit and help us through this. Well, it's actually Elisa's sister, isn't it? Yeah. It's Elisa's sister, but I'll claim it. So it's been really good to have her. It's only been a couple of days, but we've been getting out and about and just showed her around some places in Qatar. So it's been a nice distraction. And also been good for our kids, uh, just having having her here and yeah, just, just taking everyone's mind off what, what's going on. So it's been really nice. <laughs> So I've just finished the first chemo, uh, not chemo, the radiation session, and it went fine. There was yeah, no pain or nothing. Uh, the mask is a little bit tight, but it wasn't too uncomfortable. It was fine. So now I'm in the chemotherapy department and getting my first <coughs> cycle. And they've offered me breakfast, which is nice. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just waiting for my breakfast. Anyway, yeah, just trying to talk a bit quieter because there's quite a few other patients in here as well. Okay, my breakfast has arrived. I wasn't expecting this. So I got some croissants, salad, some fruit, some juice, bread. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. avoid sugar so I might just have the salad <laughs> what do you think <laughs> can't eat half of it <laughs> yeah, I know it's really being 
hard for us like because we looked into a lot of things and one thing we decided to do was avoid sugar and yeah just get offered recommendations like we were told to have two litres of water and a litre of seven up every day to keep hydrated yeah to keep hydrated and get electrolytes up so yeah just having a lot of sugar i just don't <coughs> think it's such a great idea for someone with cancer or even things like you know eating ice cream to keep your calories yeah eating up. ice cream yeah so we're not going to do that um yeah just want to give my body the best chance it's got you know and eat healthy anyway what do you think about that do you think people with cancer should be eating sugar or you think they should be avoiding it like i am <laughs> tell me in the comments <laughs> alisa stole my croissant given all these tablets as like pre-medication and it's just to help with all the side effects. How you doing? What you watching? Some random stuff on Facebook. <laughs> My lunch. <laughs> right, it's been delivered lunch now, so I wasn't expecting any of this. That's all right. But there's meat. But there's have more vegetarian. But I have been very loose with that lately because I started eating fish. So I'm just going to eat it. Don't judge me. Chemo is being delivered now, and I feel fine at the moment. So I'm just going to have some food. Food vlog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first day is down, chemo's done, and I feel fine at the moment. There's, yeah, I don't feel sick at all, no side effects. It was a very long day. It's after four o'clock now and we're finally leaving. And yeah, I didn't feel sick. Um, they gave me a lot of drips with, I, yeah, I guess, um, what are they called, electrolytes, just to keep me hydrated. And that probably took up most of the time. I had what, an hour at the beginning and then another hour at the end. Is that right? Uh, no, you had a saline, then you had electrolytes, then chemo, and then another hour of saline. Yeah. yeah, so just lying in bed all day. I did have a couple of naps in there, so that was nice. Yeah, so anyway, we'll see how I feel in a few hours and tomorrow, and I'll, I'll share that soon. Good morning everyone, it is day three of my treatment. Today I have radiation at about eight o'clock. I uh, just want to let you know how I was feeling yesterday after my treatment. Uh, I was really, really tired. I went home and I pretty much had my lunch and then crashed for about five hours. It's yeah, just super tired. Um, I woke up about six o'clock to have some dinner and just, just hung out and watched some, watched some TV. Went to bed pretty late, it was about one o'clock last night. But I felt right, I didn't didn't throw up or anything yesterday, I felt quite fine. And at least it was gonna come with me today, but I woke up this morning and I was feeling pretty good, so I just told her, you know, don't worry, just sleep in, I'll, I'll be home soon. But I'm not feeling too great right now. I'm almost at the hospital, just a little bit lightheaded, and I feel a bit gassy as well. And just, 
I guess a bit of heartburn in my chest. And the other thing I've just I've noticed is my ears are a little bit sore today. I was warned that because of the chemotherapy drug that I'm using, I think it's called cisplatin, uh, it does cause some hearing loss in in some people. So yeah, I kind of expected that. I was hoping it would be maybe later on in the treatment I'd start to notice it, but it's yeah happening already. I guess on day three. Uh, hopefully. Just some juice and yeah, maybe goes down a little bit because yeah I've still got three more treatments to go I think the chemotherapy drugs they use should be almost out of my system after that first cycle yeah, so let's let's hope my hearing doesn't get any worse over the next few days but at the moment I'm making, I can still hear fine it's just that my ears are, are ringing just a little bit uh, so it's just something I noticed yeah anyway so I'm about to go get my next treatment I'm almost almost at the hospital like, yeah all right we'll see you soon So just coming out of the hospital now, and yeah, treatment's pretty quick, like maybe once I'm in there, it's five minutes in and out. And something one of the doctors said they noticed there's a bit of swelling around my neck. Um, I think it's because of the change in diet. Uh, I was doing intermittent fasting and low carb, and they kind of said to me I need to maintain my weight, so I kind of scrapped that for the time being. But I think it's resulted in me just putting on uh, a lot of weight, and just retaining more fluid and that sort of thing so yeah just maybe something I've got to watch out for because it does change um, I guess what they're trying to do they said at this stage it's okay uh, but if I start you know, swelling up more or putting on more weight it might cause some more problems so it would mean making a whole new mask that they put on me and, and just yeah, reassessing exactly where the cancers are and making sure they're targeting the right spots so yeah that's today's update I've got one more radiation treatment this week and I'll give everyone an update on that one tomorrow and yeah I'll see you there. Bye. Guys, it is my last day of treatment for this first week. Uh, it's actually my fourth day of radiation, and the reason I've got four radiation treatments this week is because the week runs from Sunday to Thursday over here in Qatar, and I started my treatment on a Monday. So, only four days of treatment this week. Next week I'll have five, and it's uh, yeah, been been okay, I guess. I'm not feeling too bad this morning, and last night was quite good. I actually, went for a little bit of a jog, which was my first run since I had my peg tube inserted so I'm feeling pretty good about that uh, I have had trouble sleeping though like last night I still probably slept maybe four maybe five hours and uh, you might just talk to my doctor about that today I do have an appointment with the oncologist after my radiation treatment today just to check in with him and uh, yeah we'll see what we find out but I think everything's going all right just a little bit nauseous sometimes sometimes feel like throwing up but I haven't really had a big spew uh, just kind of spewing in my mouth which I'm sorry it's kind of gross I know <laughs> But uh, I just want to share everything so that um, yeah, you understand how I'm feeling and what I'm going through. And if you're someone who is going through this right now, um, yeah, you might experience these things as well. Um, but for the most part, I'm feeling okay now. Uh, it is early days. Uh, so yeah, so to keep taking it one day at a time. All right, we've got to go. I'll see you soon. All right, it is the next day. Uh, yesterday we kind of just went home, I had a bit of a sleep, I was really tired and then we actually went out, we had a little bit of a look at the Sukh Waikif uh, over in Doha with uh, Lisa's sister who's visiting us at the moment, so that was really nice and uh, I just wanted to give you an update uh, from yesterday and just close out this video here I did meet with the oncologist after my radiation treatment yesterday and he had a bit of a feel of the lymph node that I have here and he was quite happy with it, he really feels like it's shrinking already I do feel the same way I'd, I know it's still very early days and I've got a long way to go, it's just the first week, but he's uh, yeah, quite happy with what he's seeing there and so am I. The other thing I'm thinking is I have put on weight since I started treatment. When I found out I got cancer, uh, I started just changing my diet, I was doing intermittent fasting and I also went low carb, zero sugar, so I lost quite a lot of weight. The doctors did say I need to keep the weight on because you know it's really detrimental if you lose a lot of weight while you're getting your treatment, so yeah I kind of just scrap that for the time being and I have put on a lot of weight I've put on almost 10 kilograms already just within a week and a half so 
yeah, the lymph node could be just hidden behind all this extra weight I've got. I, I just don't know. I guess once we get some scans done in the future, that will be revealed. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident at the moment. Um, it's still the first week, it's early days. I know the side effects are going to get worse as I go through this. But yeah, I've got to stay positive. I've got to take the good and uh, I'm going to go with that. And I just want to just also say that everyone at the hospital in the in the National Cancer Care and Research Centre in Doha are amazing. You go in there and everyone's just so friendly. People are going through such a tough time there at the moment and you, know, you, you walk in there and everyone's just really happy and smiling and the patients are talking to each other and you know, it's, it's just got a really nice vibe to it. And um, yeah, I just want to mention that. And I just want to say thank you to all those staff. Also, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you to everyone who's been watching these videos. I do appreciate it. Uh, all the comments that I'm getting and all the support, it really does help me. Every time I read a comment, um, there's people encouraging me and giving me support. It does mean the world to me. So thank you. Keep them coming. I love it. And yeah, let's let's keep going. I'm going to keep sharing these videos. First week down, we got about five and a half weeks more to go of treatment. And yeah, let's see how that goes. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.